Hey everyone, so I have an older, regular washing machine. Um, this one's a Whirlpool, specifically the Ultimate Care Heavy Duty Super Capacity Plus. Um, I got this used, and it's gross. Um, yeah, so before I actually use it, because my other one finally just was done, I just couldn't use it anymore. Um, I was like, how do I clean this? Like, and I mean really clean it. So the first thing that I did was fill it up and just wash it on a regular cycle. And let me tell you, I love these things right here. These are just the bleach tablets. I put three of these in. It doesn't matter. Any bleach will do or whatever. If you don't like bleach, whatever disinfectant cleaner, um, that's safe for wash washers, obviously. Um, but I put three of these in there, ran it on a cycle. So at least got that. Okay. Then I got... To thinking um, that's obviously not the only thing in there that's gross in here looked pretty gross I'm like I got to do something so I already took this off but what you do is you kind of just shimmy this it's really how you take it off I didn't use any tool shimmy it pull yeah look at that look at that oh look at that I've already been soaking it but I wanted to do this for you and then there's this little piece in here. Obviously, if you have a different model, this will uh, be slightly different. But look at that. Look at how disgusting. So I'm like, yeah, I have to clean out in there. And then there's also a bolt. We'll probably end up taking that off. But I just wanted to show you this. Now look. Okay, so you can see this. And you see this little rubber gasket here. You can actually either just go around and get this off. Or better yet, just take the gasket off, go ahead and clean it. Also this, it's so easy to get off, just I put my hand right underneath. That's just what I do, I don't have any professional tools, I shimmied it off. I'm going to deep clean that too, and look at all this crud in there. You don't know whose crud and filth that is. So before I use that, I just wanted to show how I'm going to really deep clean. Um, Next, we're going to unscrew this and really get down in there because, of course, you wipe off the, you know, you wipe off here, you wipe in there, you run it, but it's not going to be good enough, especially whenever you have really small kids and an infant. Okay, so next, I'm going to show you how I get this off. All right, I finally got this out. Look how disgusting, guys. Look how filthy. And it really didn't look that bad when I got it. But um, just for anybody that ever is actually trying to do this, I know this may be a little excessive, but this bolt, you know, is way down in there. And it is difficult to get it. Because you can see that that, I mean, that's deep in there. So I don't know if this will ever help anybody. I hope it does. But we have a little kit. And we have this size extender. There's nothing like listed on it it's just an extender right look and then this one the first one that goes on this is just a basic extender with no size you see but then when I put this one on this is an 11 mm you see and that actually gets the bolt out um oh and for the top used pliers so basically I had that it took a while to figure out but like this and um and it wasn't just that okay so whenever this is in pliers being held okay then um I took the bottom and moved it held it in place here then it finally popped free so I know that that's crazy but hopefully that information is useful to at least one person so I'm going to go ahead and clean that. I mean, guys, look how disgusting. I mean, it's crud. It's literally, I got what I put off with just a regular wipe. This is crud. I literally just put some antibacterial hand soap and I am letting the bathtub soak these. And let me go ahead and show you what the washer looks like. Okay, and look, the inside of the washer, this is what it looks like with uh, the plastic housing off. And look, right here was all crud. I still have to clean everywhere else. But I just used this scrubby, and I used elbow grease. 
and I got all the crud. You can see where the color is worn away. That's just, that's always going to be like that. It's just old. Um, but it was just probably an inch thick of crud, and I just used elbow grease and got it off. All right, guys, and look how I am soaking. This is no professional job here. I just have a regular tub. I'm just putting all these things in here. It's just absolutely disgusting. Probably should wear gloves. And I just have my antibacterial hand soap. That's what I'm using, guys. Anyone can do this. I'm not doing anything perfect. I'm just doing it. Anyone can do this. I can do it. Anyone can do it. Mix it around. Ah, yeah, really hot water. That's really, really hot. See, the thing is, I actually love YouTube, and I watch tons of videos, and I love them. But sometimes, I just don't have the time or the funds to buy, like, all the professional ways to do it, quote-unquote, the right way. So I'm doing the next best thing. All right, so... I'm going to let these soak for a while. Wow, that is hot. And look, I'm going to use these wipes to clean them off. And look, after soaking these parts for just a couple hours, look how gross that is. Look at all that gunk. You definitely need to deep clean a used washing machine. Okay, what I also like to do is just take an old toothbrush and just clean it. You just use that elbow grease and you get in there. I mean, look how disgusting that is, guys. If you get it, I mean, you honestly never know how clean the washer is going to be. So I just go ahead, get in there with the elbow grease, get it all out. And I go ahead and clean this. Then I rinse it off. Go ahead, rinse it. Honestly, it's like new. See? Nothing fancy needed. Hey guys, well, all that deep cleaning took a while, but it's finally done. It actually looks really, really good. So, thank you for watching. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.